Hello, I'm Pastor Scott Villain with HolyImpactMinistries.com. God bless you and thank you for sharing your time with me here today. I've just returned from the voting booth and I'd like to urge all Christians to go and vote today. You know, I've heard a lot of Christians say that I just can't bear to vote for the lesser of two evils. Well, my friends, if that is true, then you will never vote for anyone ever. Is it not written in our Bibles that each and every person has sinned and that none are righteous? My friends, it's important that Christians today stand and be heard and put their hands to the plow. To presume that we know what a candidate will or will not do after being elected is presumptuous at best and borderlines on vanity. As Christians, we are to live by faith and we should be praying for the candidate that we vote for. I urge you today, my friends, to go to your prayer closet, to bend your knee, to bow your head, to face the promised Holy Land of Jerusalem and to ask for the discernment of who it is that you should vote for. And then go to the voting booth and cast your vote on a ballot today. And when you're finished, return to your prayer closet, bow your head, bend your knee, face the promised Holy Land of Jerusalem, and ask that our Father's will be done. Not ours, but His. It's important for us to know and to understand that Yahovah God moves through his people, and when his people sit and do nothing, they pay the price for sitting and doing nothing. If we do not sow, we will not reap. And to tell each other that we know exactly what will happen or what that particular candidate will do after they are voted in, once again, is presumptuous and borderlines on vanity. Again, my friends, we will be judged not only for the things that we have done, but the things that we have not done. If we can stop or at least slow down abortion, is it not worth the time to cast a vote? If we can stop homosexuality from being taught to our five-year-old kindergarten children, is it not worth the time to vote? Is there, If there's a possibility that we could stop a war from happening around the world by choosing a certain candidate, one of the lesser of two evils. Is it not important for the Christian to vote? My friends, this day is like no other day, and I urge you, do not sit and be slothful. Get up, go to the voting booth, and vote, and pray in the end that our Father and His will be done. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for your time. God bless you, and shalom.